Hello and a very warm welcome to this a very special edition of Off The Hockey as we have a look and preview the 2016 Betway PDC World Cup of Darts. And there's a fair bit to talk about for one of my favourite competitions of the year. It's the only pairs competition that is televised and of course it's on Sky Sports in the United Kingdom if you want to watch it. And of course for everyone else you can find your various broadcasters on its RTL7. And for most of us, live pdc.tv. Now, England, under the magnificent duo of Phil the Power Taylor and Adrian Jackpot Lewis, will be vying to retain their title, which they won in 2015, and will, looking, will be looking to win their fourth as a pair this year. And, well, them, they... they they always seem to these two have this. Maybe it's their Stoke on Trent roots. How they've, how they, how they both for uh, X number of years. Lewis has been has known Taylor for all of his career. Taylor is a man who mentored Lewis and so knows his game inside out. And Lewis likewise. And they are they probably the, they are the best pairing in PDC World Cup history and possibly the best pairing. In any kind of World Cup issue, I can't think of anyone in the BDO WDF World Cup who has been as successful as Phil and Adrian. So, you that you got to put them down as favourites because uh, they do they do play so well when they when they play together. It's gonna and it's gonna be really interesting because England always are the favourites. They always, except from the the couple of years ago when uh, the Dutch Joe won it. They always seem to do well. They even then that year they made the final. But this year, other teams who are going to give England a one for their money. The obvious one that springs out to mind is Holland with the duo of Michael van Gerwen and Raymond van Barneveld again this year. We'll be speaking more about the Dutch team later on in this program. The Scots with Robert Thornton and Gary Anderson. Peter Wright dropped out of the tournament. He asked not to be selected. The reasons behind that we we don't know and we're not so sure about. And one team, well, obviously the high bridge pairing, the Aussies. Carl Anderson will be making his debut at the World Cup of Darts and places Paul Nicholson to partner Simon Whitlock. And one team whose chances I really am recommending is the Welsh. I think they are the two dark horses for this tournament. Gerwin Pricey, one of the most informed players on planet Tungsten at the moment, winning two back-to-back -back players' championship events. Uh, Mark Webb's the man whose form has really come to fruition over the last 18 months, and his form wouldn't be more fruitful than a win for his country this weekend. And Mark Webster is one of the few players who have played in every single World Cup of Darts event since its inception in 2010 and that experience could be very very useful because go and be playing in his career's first ever pairs event but the form of these two suggests to me that if they can bond together and i i really do think that they can we'll really see them put a real one for their money and really push the likes of england holland and scotland all away now there were two players that declared themselves um, unfit, well, not unfit for selection, but didn't want themselves put forward for selection. The second, we spoke about Peter Wright earlier, the second one was Jelle Klassen. And, of course, he's higher up the PDC World Order of Merit than the certain Barney, but made himself unavailable. Now, we reckon this was due to the incident at... The, due to the the relationship or non-relationship that he had with Michael Van Gerwen. If you have a little afternoon session where you're free, look at the incident. Uh, first off, um, at the 2013 European Darts Championship, both players gave nothing away as in for eye contact or handshake or anything whatsoever during that match. The animosity, you, you, you could feel the animosity between the two. And then the... Uh, at the 2014 PDC German Dart Championship, where it looked like as Michael van Gerwen walked off the stage, Jelle Krasen gave him the, the finger. So the two over the years have had uh, 
have had much animosity and we believe this is the reason why Yellow Classen wasn't selected. But you'd feel that if Classen was selected for the Dutch team, then you would kind of feel that their chances would have been hampered. Not by his ability, because he really is one of the hot players right now, but just the way that, that him and Van Gerwen don't get along and there wouldn't be much chemistry between the pair. And the final question is, who can be the surprise packages? Every year we have a surprise package. A couple of years ago, South Africa, under the pairing of a Devon dancing, Devon Peterson and Graham Philby. And last year by the Hong Kong duo of Royden Lamb and Scott McKenzie. I think this year, Gibraltar with Dyson Parody and Emmanuel Valerio, they... They then they entertained last year, dancing Dyson with it was just great, wasn't he? And I think he's gonna be great entertainment again this year uh, at the PDC World Cup of Darts. And that's about it. Uh, thank you for joining me on this very special episode of Off the Yockey. I hope to join you again soon when we'll be reviewing the BDO World Trophy. Bye bye for now.